let's start by setting up our colors we want to set up our colors in such a way that we've got one single source of truth for the entire application or for the entire card component with that being said we are going to jump back to figma and we are going to use this okay so what we are going to do here we are going to copy this okay this name as a name and then we're going to go back to our code in our code we want to go to we want to go to tailwind config okay let's look for tailwind config what we want to do here let's see okay let's see what we want to do here we want to extend colors okay meaning that we want to add our own colors in the tailwind color system so how are we going to do that inside this extend okay code block we're just going to come here and type color okay as you can see guys these colors pop in and then from then we are going to do this and then we need to key in some values okay and then let's put a comma here okay let's put a comma there and then here what we want to do we want to declare our own app primary and then we are going to give it a string value so to make my life easier i'm just going to copy this uh, let's say let me copy it with uh, this comma i'm going to copy it almost like six times one two three four five six okay as you can see this object will tell me that i cannot have the same name um, in multiple places which i understand i'm going to copy and paste and change this so what i'm going to do here on app primary i'm going to come here and then copy this color and then paste it here don't forget to put that this hashtag sign okay this sign so this is the color it has been declared and then what i'm going to do i'm going to come back here and then go to app secondary highlight app secondary and then from then i will copy the color as well okay Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video. I'm going to do all of this so that I can save your time. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've just added all the colors accordingly. So all our colors are here. So the last thing we can do because we wrap up before we wrap up this session, let's just test our colors and see the convenience of doing things this way. So let's just get in here. And then inside here, what we want to do we want to give a class name and the class name we're going to give it a color but first let's just give it a, a a width and height so let's just type here size let's give it um let's say a size of 40 let's say okay and then from there we are going to give it a background let's say we want to give it a background of the primary color so we are going to come here type bg and then touch hey guys my apologies for disturbing in case you didn't know we've got a course at udemy if you are watching this on coded design i also got another youtube channel for teaching you figma and that channel is coded ui in case you want to be updated by everything that we do here at coded design please check the link in the description below to our Substack newsletter thank you so much i hope you are enjoying type dash and then let's just type a okay and then pp let's see okay as you can see guys here we've got bg app primary so these are all our colors okay after typing a double p all our colors will appear here okay so this is the advantage of making sure that your color naming variable has got a prefix okay with me it's just this app it makes us easier this way it makes our life easier this way and then what we want to do we want to click here primary so let's just save and see is this um div going to be green okay which is is going to be this color let's go back here as you can see guys now it's taking this color let's just test for the last last time let's see what if maybe we want to use a different color let's see as you can see guys we've got app pop then when you come back here this will change to 
app pop i am matthew msingati the designer and developer from south africa i am the hybrid if you might want to contact me please come here and click here and give me your name and email otherwise for me see you on the next one thank you so much